Democratic presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders taking his 2020 campaign to Pittsburgh today. The Vermont senator's visit is part of a multi-day tour of battleground states that first stopped in Wisconsin and Michigan. But our Laura Engel is in Pittsburgh. They've had a little bit of rain there, but she has the latest. Laura? Hi, Molly. We've had a little bit of rain. We've also had a lot of rain so far today. We'll see how it goes as the hours roll on. But, you know, this has been an aggressive five-state, eight-city tour over the last few days. And, of course, we are just hours away here in Pittsburgh, where the Vermont senator is expected to take the stage. You can see there behind me they've got the plastic covering it for right now as setup continues. Uh, the loyalists have been out seeing him over the last few days, braving rough weather, which is expected to last today. We'll see how it goes. But we know that there's supposed to be a big turnout. Uh, Bernie Sanders telling his supporters in Wisconsin and Michigan, which President Trump narrowly won in 2016, that he hopes Democrats together will make sure that doesn't happen again, he says, vowing to win in 2020. As Sanders is out promoting Medicare for all, he also is challenging the president to completely scrap a trade deal crafted to replace NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, which he says would allow companies like General Motors to send American jobs to Mexico. Today we say to corporate America, we will not allow you to shut down plants in the United States, throw American workers out on the street and move to cheap labor abroad. Sanders' presence here in Pennsylvania is important as he works to recoup voters he lost in the Democratic primary in the state in 2016, only picking up roughly 43 percent of the vote over Hillary Clinton's nearly 56 percent. As Sanders' campaign has said, the pathway to victory runs through the Midwest, issuing a memo in advance of this trip reporting that Sanders is leading all Democratic candidates in fundraising, receiving donations from more than 18,000 people in Pennsylvania, highlighting their hopes that he will become the front runner in a growing and crowded Democratic field. Now, as we mentioned, gates are expected to open here in about two hours. The event set to take place at 5 p.m. Eastern. We will be here standing by and let you know how it goes. Back All right, Laura, thank you for uh, braving the weather. It'll be interesting to see how big the crowd is there in the Rust Belt for Bernie Sanders, who has been drawing some big crowds. Uh, so we'll see. Thank you.